Hey guys, Jeff here from HackCamBass.com. Let's talk about the drop shot. We're going to start with the basics and then work our way up to some more advanced topics. If you'd like to skip ahead in the video, just click these navigation buttons to the right. So I want to start off by talking about what the drop shot is and what the drop shot isn't. What it is, is a rig with the weight attached to a leader below the hook. Very simple, and that allows the bait to suspend off the bottom, which is where bass will feed the majority of the time. Now what the drop shot isn't is a situational technique that you only use with light tackle to catch finicky bass. That's the biggest mistake people make is thinking that this is only for finesse. I mean, it's a great finesse technique, don't get me wrong, but it's also very versatile. In fact, it's so versatile that Elite Series Pro Aaron Martins, who's considered the master of the drop shot, has always called it the most effective rig in bass fishing because it'll catch fish anywhere in any situation. All right, let's talk about what you need to rig a drop shot. For hooks, I usually use the ones that are specialized for drop shotting. They might also be called finesse hooks or circle hooks or split shot hooks. Now generally speaking, you want to be using the smallest hook possible. So something as small as a size 2 or a size 1 or maybe even something bigger like a one aught or a 2 aught work really well. Now a great tip to help increase your hookup ratio with the drop shot is to open up the hook a little bit. So what you can do is take some pliers and slightly bend the hook point out and that will greatly increase your hookups. For weights, just about anything will work. You want to keep in mind what kind of bottom surface you'll be fishing, but as far as the size, that'll depend on the depth and the wind conditions. But a 1 8 ounce is pretty standard, and you really don't want to be using anything over a quarter ounce. The weights that are specialized for drop shotting are really nice because they have a line clip at the top, so you can just clip the tag in to that and then tie a simple overhand knot to secure it. And what's great about that is if you were to get hung, that weight will pull free pretty easily, allowing you to get your hook and the bait back. Your options for soft plastics are pretty endless. The drop shot best mimics a suspended bait fish, so something like a straight tail worm or a shad style bait like a fluke or can't miss. But once again, feel free to experiment because just about anything will work. Swim baits, creature baits, whatever you can think of. Personally, one of my favorites is the robo worm straight tail worm. All right, now we're going to show you how to tie a drop shot. Use whatever knot you're most comfortable with. I always recommend the uni knot for just about anything. The only difference for the drop shot is you want to leave a long tag in for the leader. The longer the leader, the higher the bait will suspend off the bottom. But once again, leader length is something that will vary. And then the most important part of tying this is once you've sensed the knot, take the tag end and go back through the eye of the hook from the hook point side, very important. Then pull that tight and it'll cause the hook to stand up on the line. From there, you just need to tie on a weight and then rig the soft plastic. There's gonna be a few different ways you can rig your soft plastic to the drop shot. The most common way is to nose hook it. Now a modified version of this that works even better is to keep the hook point embedded inside the plastic like this. Go in through the belly of the worm about a quarter inch down and bring it up through the nose where the point of the hook is right under the surface. This will give the bait an extremely natural look as it moves up and down with the hook rather than swinging freely. Wacky rigging a straight tail worm can be very effective at times as well. And also another option is to simply Texas rig it. The last thing we're going to talk about is how to work the drop shot. Now this is where you need to drop any preconceived notions that you have about this rig because once again it's not just a finesse technique. It's great to work vertically and dead sticking but about 70 to 80 percent of the time I'm casting this out and working it like a Texas rig or a Carolina rig. So if you're around active fish, hopping it off the bottom, shaking it, even swimming it back with the weight off the bottom are all very effective. Now if the bite gets tough, um, it's a great finesse technique of course, 
you can dead stick it, you can use very slight rod movements to barely shake the worm where you're shaking the worm and not the weight. All of those work really well. But once again, don't be afraid to experiment because just about anything will work. All right, guys, that was the Drop Shot Rig. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and also be sure to subscribe. Check us out on social media and check us out on our website, hackcambass.com, to see more videos.